Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is fabrication methods for different elements. Especially in this session, we will discuss the fabrication methods for N type of MOSFET, P MOSFET and complementary MOSFET. So first part is N MOS fabrication. That means how the N MOSFET transistors are fabricated. From the exam point of view, you may expect the detailed question related to the fabrication techniques used for uh, MOSFET uh, fabrications. So you need to mention all the three types that is N MOS, P MOS and C MOS. Apart from this, you may expect the separate question like uh, explain in detail the N MOS fabrication technique. So this diagram shows the N MOS fabrication method as such. This is a very lengthy process, so I am going to explain certain important steps which are required for fabrication of NMOS. To fabricate NMOS device, P type of substrate is used. So this is the P type substrate which I have shown in the first step. Now, a thin oxide layer is grown on the top of this silicon substrate. On the top of this P type substrate, a thin layer of oxide is grown as shown in this diagram in the first step. For this, a thermal oxidation method is used. So on this substrate, a thin layer of uh, oxide, thin oxide layer is uh, grown on the top of this substrate. This forms the gate dielectric or gate area. So this particular thing is referred as gate oxide or it represents the gate area or gate dielectric. Then certain areas are opened for the filled oxide growth. So to open certain areas in this uh, thing, the photolithography technique is used. So certain areas are open, these are the open areas. Then a thin layer of filled oxide is grown using wet oxidation technique. So these are the filled oxide layers which are grown by using the wet oxidation procedure. Then we need to uh, form a polysilicon layer. So silicon is, SI stands for silicon. Silicon is deposited over gate oxide. So this is the gate oxide. This is the gate oxide. Over this gate oxide, polysilicon layer is deposited. So silicon is deposited over uh, this gate oxide layer. For this CVD method is used, that is chemical vapor deposition technique is used. Now, we need to form source and uh, drain region. So source and drain regions, these are N plus regions because we want to fabricate N MOS uh, transistor. So source and drain, that is N plus regions are formed and gate is implanted with impurity ions to increase the conductivity. So N plus regions are uh, created, these are formed as well as the gate is implanted with impurity ions. That means certain impurity ions are added which is helping us to improve the conductivity of the device. Then different metal contacts are developed as shown in this diagram. So first metal contact is source, second is uh, drain terminal. So from this the metal contacts are grown and we can connect this device to the outside uh, things. Then <clears throat> different metal contacts are uh, created which gives the connections for source and drain. Similarly, the substrate contact is also taken out from this. So this is the brief explanation of the different steps used for NMOS fabrication. Now let us discuss PMOS fabrication. Just now we discussed the NMOS fabrication techniques. Slight changes are there. What we discussed in case of NMOS, P type of substrate is used. Now let us discuss fabrication of PMOS device. Exactly reverse procedure is done. That means for the fabrication of PMOS, N type of substrate is used. So all the steps are same. First step remains same. That is thin oxide layer is grown on the top of silicon substrate. This layer which forms the gate oxide or gate dielectric. Again, the thermal oxidation method is used. Then areas are opened as shown in this diagram for filled oxide growth. Again, photolithography technique is used. Thin layers of filled oxide is grown. So these two layers are grown using the wet oxidation method. These are the thin layers. Uh, these are the thin filled oxide layers, which is again similar to the previous discussion. But the substrate remains N-type. Next, 
the source uh, the polysilicon layer is grown on this uh, gate oxide layer this again remains same then the formation of source and drain i mean the formation of source and drain that is p plus regions are is done so these are p plus regions in the earlier case we discussed these regions were n plus regions so for p mos fabrication p plus regions are used then metal contacts are taken out like the earlier cases the subtract contact is also uh, taken out and uh, the designing is completed so this is about the p mos fabrication next is cmos fabrication we know that in case of cmos uh, both n mos and p mos are existing this is the cross sectional view of cmos ic as i said cmos consists of both the types of devices n mos and p mos now this particular portion represents n mos here n plus regions are used this is source terminal gate terminal drain terminal for the n mos device some isolation is provided and after that there is a p mos device so p mos device again terminals are source gate and drain terminal these two are sio2 layers as i said this is the isolation provided between n mos and p mos now the substrate requirement for both n mos and p mos is different we have discussed that to fabricate n mos device p type of substrate is used and to fabricate p mos device n type of substrate is used so if you want to obtain both the devices on the single chip on the same chip then certain different technology is used so the substrate requirement is different for both n mos and p mos so well technology is used this is the technology which is used as shown in this diagram n well process is used for the implementation of p mos device now n mos is implemented directly on the p substrate this is the p substrate here n mos device is directly implemented without using any uh, further any other technology whereas p mos this device p mos is implemented using specially created n region this n well is a specially created n region which is called n well and by making use of this p mos device is fabricated then isolation as i mentioned isolation is provided again using a silicon dioxide layer so there are different uh, process flows that depends on the type of well structure uh, that is used uh, for the fabrication so it can be n well process flow it can be p well process flow if you are using a p well or it can be dual well process flow in which both n and p well techniques are used now the short flow graph i mean short steps are uh, written over here so first step while implementing while fabricating a cmos device is define the active areas then each and fill trenches trenches means uh, a certain path is created a hole is a uh, duct certain hole is uh, created and uh, then each and fill that hole that is each and fill uh, trenches then implant well regions depending on the requirement well is n well or p well depending on the requirement then deposit polysilicon layer ss stands for silicon deposit polysilicon layer for the gate terminal implant source and drain regions snd stands for source and drain so implant source and drain regions and then deposit the contacts for source drain region as well as deposit the contact for the uh, substrate terminal so this is about the cmos fabrication so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video